All right, guys, welcome back to the second half here of Roleplay Vigil. Uh, Ryan, I need you to roll a d4. Ooh, what if I don't want to? What am I rolling for here? <laughs> Please roll the d4. Okay. Three. As this knife is pulled out of your body, you realize that you are starting to go limp for some reason, and you're not entirely sure why, and you lose control and fall to the ground. The rest of you see Bongo just fall to the ground as if he has died. I would like to create fire on the person Holy who damn. did this to Bongo. As he, uh, yeah, as he falls down, you see this small uh, halfling behind him with a dagger in his hand and a menacing look on his face, and you create. I fire create on fire him. on the halfling. Okay. Five. <laughs> I create no fire on the halfling. You know, you're really excited. You're super into this. Your hands start to illuminate a smile or a grin cracks on your face. The rest of you all have this apprehensive look as you see this fire uh, come out from Kang's hand. And uh, can you roll your damage for me? Five, six. Uh, as he does this, he looks really excited as if this is going to be super, super successful. And then his hands just explode around him. And Bongo, or sorry, Dongo and Riley, you guys each take six damage minus armor. <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> and Bongo is like unconscious from what we can tell, or? He looks dead to you. I will run to him and cure light wounds. Okay. Uh, if you run to him and cure light wounds, the guy that was standing over him. Is gonna get an attack on you, just so you know. I shall hack and slash. You're gonna hit. You're gonna strike at this guy. Well, hack and slash gives me a chance to evade his attack and hit him, right? Uh, you would roll like what? Describe your action to me, to the best. Of, what What are you actually doing, like narratively? You're running towards. All right. I turn around <laughs> in slow motion. And I look at Bongo and I said, no, and I start running towards him. And I guess I see the guy to my side trying to, like, stab at me. So then I would roll and then I would tell you my action, right? Okay, so you if would I... be defying against Dex to try to get out of the way from this attack that he's about to make on you as you're going to heal your brother. Well, a hack and slash is on, on 10 plus, I avoid their attack and deal my damage to the enemy, right? Right. Are you attacking him, or are you just trying to get by him? Well, I'll attack him as I try to continue to run. Kind of, like, try to evade him. Evade his attack. Maybe, like, hit him with my staff and continue to run towards my brother. Okay. If you're if you're making an attack at him, yes, you can roll hack and slash. On a 10+, plus, you evade his attack. On a 7 to 9, or a 9 or lower, you get also attacked by him. Just so you know. Okay, this is going to be tough then, right? Because it's plus <laughs> yeah. strength. What's my strength? Uh, plus zero, so minus one. Oh, great. 2d6 so minus I need one. A five and a, I, need a, I need a five and a six. Yeah. <sighs> you roll a seven. Uh, so let's do damage against you. Four minus armor. God, what a shitty roll. Four minus whatever armor you have. One. Okay. So you have uh, you so took like three, three points. Yeah, he like he swipes at you as you run by, and can you roll a d4 as well? Yes. Riley looks at her plate mail and wonders why she even wears this thing anymore. <laughs> as uh, as this dagger like scratches you or scrapes your side and breaks your skin, uh, you <gasps> also realize that you are going limp for some reason and you fall over to the ground they got some pills for that <laughs> you lose control of your character what i don't do i don't deal one damage to him then sorry everyone has that problem sometimes man oh, don't, no, don't sweat do about it too much oh also roll your damage you do oh no wait yeah you, you are successful so roll your damage you rolled a seven to nine <sighs> what's my uh, damage roll it's on your character sheet uh d6 six. i think for clerics yeah, I think it's always D6, right? Yeah, D6, yeah. yeah. So roll your D6. Minus one, I guess. Uh, no, no, damage is... Uh, actually, yeah, that oh, is okay, that okay. necklace is minus one to all your rolls. <laughs> so that's... Really? <laughs> it's, wow. Yeah, roll your D6. Four, so three. Okay. 
So as I fall to the ground, can I like stab him in the eye? <laughs> no, man. You like you're like losing consciousness. Uh, <laughs> you just fall to the ground. Uh, how do I damage to him then? You struck him before you were scraped, or before the whatever took effect took effect. Okay. You tell me how'd you do damage to him? What was the narrative? Before falling, I stabbed him in the eye. Ah. Uh, okay. You stabbed him in the eye with your diamond edge staffed. Uh, yeah. What are the rest of you? What are the other two? Can you go try to make some fire again? Riley, what are you doing? Yeah, I want to make some fire again. Riley, you successfully pull your sword out of the stone, by the way. So the thing that I went to attack, it's just standing there still? Yes, it has not moved at all. Um, I, I shoot my sword and quickly try to grab both of their daggers. Hold on, I gotta yell at the people in chat. Which I shouldn't be announcing. You what? You go to stab at the guy? Yeah. The same guy or the guy that attacked Ryan and or Bongo and Dongo? No, the guy that I'm right in front of. The guy that you stabbed the sword into the stone attacking? Yeah. Okay. Roll to hit. So I roll. Yeah. Okay, you stab at the uh, thing in front of you. And no, as... I'm grabbing its daggers. Oh, you're grabbing its daggers. Okay, you reach down to grab these daggers from him, and your hands go straight through whatever this translucent creature is in front of you. I can't even grab the daggers. It's as if whatever you are attacking is an illusion, which is why your weapons went through him the first time. All right, this thing ends up stabbing me, JP, with what, like daggers <laughs> that I can't touch. All right. Kang, you want to make an action, or Riley? I want to action? blow things up. Okay. Fire on the creature on the halfling. Did you say he was? Yes. You uh, you notice him that uh, this halfling, as he sees fire start to kind of form in your hand, he starts to run off a little bit. But you could totally get your attack in. Oh, I'm so firing him. Nine. Nine successful. Nine six. I thought ten was success. Seven to no, nine, nine is a partial success. So we're all Flames run wild. <laughs> Flame runs wild. Flames run wild, guys. <laughs> Flames run wild. Yeah. Eight damage. Eight damage. Okay. You uh, ignite fire on top of him, and as you do, you see him like get stuck as if he's being struck in the back, and he like falls over and limps down to the ground. A loud shrill comes out from him. I have another action I'd like to do, but sure. it's another attack, so I don't know if you want to wait until next round-ish or what. There's no rounds, so do whatever you want. Okay, I want to enhance the flames. Okay. I want to enhance them, making them stronger. Okay. Seven, partial success. Yep. More flames going wild beyond my control. It's set everything on fire. It does an extra D4 damage, so I don't know if you want me to roll another D4, D10 plus D4, or just flat D4. It does an extra D4. Since this was kind of the same action, let's do just a regular Allows you D4. to augment or strengthen an existing element's characteristics. This can be maintained to grant plus one on a roll, or D4 plus, or uh, D4 to damage. Cannot just, be used to may. Just yeah. roll another D4, because it's basically yeah. the same action. One more One. damage. Okay. But yeah. now they're... Yeah, the flames grow even higher. Or, or, sorry. Yeah, higher and larger on this guy. And he is just in the center of this thing, like, in a little lump, just burning. Uh, about this time, Dongo and Bongo, you guys come to on the ground. You're a little bit uh, stiff and a little bit sore where the dagger pierced your skin and where the dagger scraped your skin, Dongo, but you are ah. alive. At least I'm stiff now, Kang. <laughs> well, oh. shall, I, I walk over to the downed body of Ryan. Is it is it moving? Yeah, yeah. They they just I'm, came I'm, to I'm yeah. Too. They're they're like yeah. struggling on the ground, but they're getting ready okay. to stand up. Cool, 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 cool. Is the halfling all the way down? Yeah, the flames are crackling off to the side. You see him in the center of it. He's just limp, not moving. Alright, I walk over to his corpse. If the fire is fire is still burning, it's gonna be. Br I mean, he enhanced the flames. It's it's so there's large. more. Is there any more alive ones, or was that the one, the only one? You don't. No, see I anything. have a feeling that this guy was so afraid of me. He had to create illusions to uh to attack me. Oh, oh, it was one guy the entire time. Is that what you're saying? 
Yeah, I think so. Hmm. All right. Well, let's wait until the flames go out then, and let's not lower our guard in case there are more. Flame starts to uh. slowly dissipate uh, from this halfling thief, and eventually, after a couple minutes, they completely die down. I run as I yell, loot, loot, loot. I run towards him. Okay, and you're you're rummaging through his remains? Yep. Uh, you find a small key as well as a small dagger. However, the uh, wrapping around the hilt of the dagger around the metal is burned out, so it's just metal now. But uh, both, mm. are, both are actually extremely hot to the touch as well because they've been sitting in fire, but you realize that you like slowly tap it. It's really fucking hot. Okay. You can't grab it immediately. I, I, I toss him. I toss him um, my oven mitts. Oh. Oh, that's right. You do have oven Thanks. mitts, don't you? I do have oven mitts. Yeah. yeah. This is per perfect. <laughs> uh, I will examine the dagger with the oven mitts and uh, put the key in my in my pocket as well. Okay. You put the key in your pocket. As you're looking at the dagger, you, you uh, like twist it to look at the knife, and you're looking at the the blade and whatnot. You see that there is a small like green shimmer to it at the on the blade portion of it but apart from that it just looks like a normal dagger mm, this must be the poison or whatever it was that knocked us down because it wasn't that strong of a strike uh perhaps we should look into who makes this sort of thing now that, now that we have a sample could just be a random thief that came down here yeah he was pretty strong for a random thief um, you know, I didn't go down when he hit me with his dagger. Hmm, that's strange. Mm. Well, what do uh, I... I need can to I use my real-life oven mitts. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> can I tell uh, by the shape of the key or anything? Can I tell anything about it? Um, can I speak more about it, I guess? Actually, I believe that's how you identify items. Let me look. Uh, we'll say for now, you, you look at the key and it just looks like a very normal key. Uh, I need to figure out how you guys identify items. I forgot. I think mages have to do that. Okay. Um, do you, do you have a move to identify items, Kang? I have no method of, of identifying items. Okay. Let's see. What are you typing? I'm trying to search through a character sheet so if I can find anything that says. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sure chat can tell me here in a sec. Let's see. The wizard so ritual. Oh, okay. Sorry, I found it. The wizard ritual move would also be good. Otherwise, just find us something to find out. Okay. So, yeah, the wizard would have to do it. Ryan would have to do it. Okay, cool. So, we'll, I guess, wait for him. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, is there anything else you guys want to do? You're still in this crypt. Uh, by the way, Riley, you look back in the corner, I would assume, just to make sure that thing hasn't moved, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and it is no longer there. You're muted again. Oh. Oh, no, you're good. <laughs> all right. Um, I just shake my head and like, roll my eyes. That's all. Okay. Guys... Guys, guys, what do we do yeah. now? What do we do now? Well, we should figure out what this key is for before leaving the crypt. It might open a secret passage or something inside of here. Uh, so we should figure out what this does. Well, we well, could... let me, let me, hey, 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 let me, let me yeah. do my flames of the future again, and maybe mm. I can get something new because now we have the key. And that I'm is not an doing my voice in the slightest. Uh, flames of the future. Okay. No, do the voice. Sorry. I sometimes <laughs> forget. Five. <laughs> All the experience. <laughs> uh, you take four damage as well. Oh. Uh, Ryan, to identify items, you need to make a 2d6 plus your int. Okay. Yeah, I'm giving you the key to identify it. Uh, sure, I'll try. Uh, 
I do not. <laughs> I like even with the plus three still fell. Uh, Ryan like looks at this. Uh, you're looking at the key, or are you looking at which item are you trying to discern, Ryan? The dagger or the key? Uh, let's say that one was the key. Okay, you're looking at this dagger and you're, or sorry, this key, and you're just staring at it. And you're like, probably for a door. And you just hand it back to him. <laughs> this is for a door. Give I me think the other. Kang might have. Blown a portion of your brain with the fire, but yeah. Here. I, I, when I, I just went limp. My brain, everything. Yeah, here's the here's the dagger. You should check it out as well. I'll try. I'll try the dagger. Okay. Twelve. Uh, this is a completely ordinary dagger. The green shimmer looks to be some sort of poison that was applied to it. You're not sure what it is, though. You just know that it is poison. This. Uh... This dagger has been poisoned, but other than that... Wow. Very dagger. All right. Thanks. Thanks, brother. Holy crap. Um, What are we to do now? Snake? Uh, Riley? Is there a door this belongs to? This key? I mean, yeah. According according to uh, to my brother's insights here as a mage. Okay. Uh, JP... Uh, JP, can I try Flames of the Future again, or is it not going to work for that one question? Or for my for that thing that I tried it on, now that it failed? Yeah, it failed. You can't constantly ask the same thing. I, I have a question. Uh, does this key look like the Smithers key? Uh, no. It looks like a... like you, you investigate the key a little bit closer, and it looks completely ordinary, as ordinary as a key could, except for the, uh, the teeth of the key is simply like it's carved out to look like this. I'll just draw it and roll 20. Yeah, this could just be a test key. It might look like, somewhere. It's just a flat thing at the end. And then mm. some sort of... It has a very ornate looking thing at the end. It has no... Um, no uh, There's no... Logo. Uh, what, grivets? Divots? Divots. Yeah, there, there's nothing divots. at the end of it. It's just a solid flat edge. All right. Whatever this key is, it doesn't look too important, but we should hold on to it. And, uh, yeah, whenever we see, I guess, well, locks. Sh shall we search the tomb for more doors? Uh, I, I think we should. I mean, let us yeah. okay. no, we know the entrance, better. we know the exit. Let's try Why don't you guys come get me? I'll just be sitting here. Why don't you guys come get me when you're done searching? I don't think there's anyone else here. And uh, I, uh, your I the... do not want to go search with us. I would like to pray for a little bit, if that's okay with you. I, I Look, I make no impositions on you. I'm just curious as to why you want prayer over us. Because, uh, my God, Cabalpod, as Riley is well aware, is one of the greatest to have ever existed and I think he might be able to guide me and I need to replenish my spells if that's fine with you. I told you the story about Cobblepot died, right? No, yeah. Well, yeah, I did. I did. I, <laughs> I could still stay with the Shadow Priest. I could get in touch with the Firmament for a little while. I need like a couple of hours. Alright. Um, if that's the case, maybe you should link my brother maybe should link to you telepathically. I don't want to be interrupted. Okay. I go over and tap uh, Kang. Kang on the shoulder. Okay. And instantly he's flooded with thoughts. Don't you still have to roll for telepathy? Yeah. Do I? Yeah. I just touch him. The spell. Okay. Spell. Okay. Hit me with it. Mm. Thirteen. No 13. problem. So good. The link is made between the two of you. Perfect. Cool. So I'm going to purify myself. This is my equivalent of whatever. Uh, da -da -da -da. If you have Wait. Drivers or so to meditate amongst the raw elements or to perform rituals before them, they will purify you. This counts as making camp and sleeping, but you do not need to consume a ration. If you spend days among the elements, it counts as recovering under the care of a healer. But I'm just trying to get my uh, penalties down and maybe some HP back. Maybe not. Uh, yeah, one second, guys. I will. I, I before I, I go into meditation, I'd like to heal 
you as much as I can, so... Uh, I'll just cast uh, all of you, well, well, one at a time. So I'll go with my brother first. I'll do Cure Moderate Wounds. Okay, roll for it. 2d6 minus 1. No, minus 2, because I got plus 3. Okay. Well, Five. it's actually plus 2, but... Uh, so that's oh, a success. Oh, my bad. So that's, yeah, that's a, that's you gotta a, choose one yeah, of the options, but yeah, that's a success. Well, that's a 9, right? 9, I gotta choose an option? 7 to 9 is partial, yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, so you take minus 1, you draw unwelcome attention, or you forget the spell. Unwelcome attention. Okay. Suddenly you so, feel a dagger in your back. <laughs> as uh, the lizard man has a strong affinity for shadow priests. As um, your brother's thoughts leave your your head, cats, you hear the yeah. uh, the banshee slowly start to fill your your uh, your head with thoughts and different uh, ah! sayings. It's in a tongue you uh, I... don't understand. But oh, you recognize well, the voice. Great. How much do I get healed <laughs> for? Just looks by the confused. Way? <laughs> Six. Six? Okay. Uh, okay, before trying to communicate with her, I will continue to cure moderate wounds this time on. Well, how much. Riley. Riley only. How much damage do you take? I took Covered, 14. Right? Oh, okay, yeah. Let's go for Riley. Um. Got him. Partial success again. I will continue to so draw unwelcome attention. Okay. Uh, the noises in your head are even getting louder and louder. Ah. Annoying. Um, which, sorry, which one of those was me that you healed? None yet. Okay. That's what I thought. Whoa. Sick. Is Cure Moderate Rinse 2d8? Really? That's crazy. Uh, yep. I believe so. Let me double check now. Yep. Cool. Okay, so 11 for you, Riley. And for Kang. Got him. Success. Roll straight damage. Or healing. Six. I gain six? Yep. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. The voices in your head are louder than ever. You can't concentrate on anything right now. Ah, woman, what do you want? Stop talking to me in uh, Banshee. Talk to me in human. Um, she responds in, in common or whatever to you and uh, just says... Um, she says, I, I tried... Many times to speak with you, however, it was blocked. There was someone else in your head. Oh, yeah, that would be my brother. <laughs> he gets in my head. So, yeah, it's good to hear from you, actually, because this necklace has been a pain in the ass to carry around, and we can't find your husband. He killed a couple of guards, uh, fucked shit up. We almost burned the painting. So it would be really nice if you told us where to go or where to find him or where you think we can find him. She responds and says, I don't know where my husband would go, but I know that he was freed from where he was once imprisoned before in that statue. Okay. Also, I would like to ask something of you. If we do get your husband and fuck him up, will you lift the curse on this necklace for me? Of course. The reason this is with you is so that you do not lose me. Oh, you're a smart woman. All right. Um, so Can we yeah. Hear any... him talking to her? Nope. This is all in his, all in his head. Uh, unless he makes I it known I to you guys. Yeah, I do. So uh, just to be clear, what do you think the next step we should take is? Ask her where the field is. Yeah, where, where's the field in the painting as well? Um, this painting was made several years back when my husband and I were still alive. And in our better years, it is out in the countryside where the statue 
of him was once formed and where I imprisoned him. Okay, everything she's saying, even if if like I'm even if it's pretend, I will pull my eyes up like like only where they can only see the white. Okay. And pretend to speak as her. So I, everything she's saying to me, I'll relate to them as if she was speaking through me. Like you're tranced or something? Gotcha. Yeah, so I do like my husband was in the field. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you. Okay. Um all right. And what about the statue? Where was it originally? Within the field. Same place. Okay, how do we get there? It is out in the countryside. Anyone in town would know where this is. It is out in the countryside. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you guys all hear that. Um, all right, woman, we'll do our best. Let us just... Uh, is there anything else that we should look for in the script? Or sh is there any other doors? We found a key. I don't know if you can see it. But I'm trying to picture it as best as I can in my head. You know what this would do? Uh, she... You don't get a voice back at all, and she goes, I have, I have no idea what this key would do. Only that oh, it was probably a simple grave grave robber looking, or crypt robber looking for gold and whatnot. Okay, thank you very much. You've been extremely helpful. Um, so, yeah, I'll do the roll to heal myself. Okay. Oh, that's it. 2d6 2 Partial. Okay. Same thing. Okay. And then... 2d8. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Full HP. Cool. All right, guys. So, we know what we know. Maybe it's unnecessary to search the script any longer. <clears throat> Maybe we should just go... If you know where we should go, then let us go. Uh, you, I mean, you heard him. Yeah, well Anybody would know where this is on the countryside. Yeah, we should go there. Riley, take us. Take us. Like I said earlier, I actually don't. I didn't recognize this place. I really don't go to the country much. Wait, do we know how long ago this king and this queen existed? I think it was a hundred years. So we would have been around in their time because we're like 80 years old. Or we would have been around just after their time. Right? Right. So our, our thing happened... We were frozen in time for like 70 years, right? Or was it no, just it was seven? Like six, it was like six. Okay, like six, six years. Seven. Okay. Yeah, these, okay. Are, these are much older than, than you okay. guys. Cool, cool. Just want to get a relevant time. Plus, you guys aren't... As far as I know, you aren't from this part of the world, so the, the yeah, not at all. Yeah, we were brought here for yeah, the war. You, the three of you are mercenaries, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, so you're brought for the war. <laughs> all right, uh, you guys make way to leave the crypt. Yep, yes. I would suggest that. Okay, you start to uh, ascend the stairs leading out of the crypt. You get to the top. Okay. It is uh, about ten o'clock at night. It's very, very dark outside. There's a couple of. Uh, People walking about, uh, the roads are lit still by torches and whatnot. They haven't been the town hasn't been completely shut down. I walk up to the nearest pedestrian and I ask them, I say, could you please point me in the direction of the countryside? Uh, you walk up to a young, uh, a young boy and he looks up at you and he looks out to the right and he looks there. And he looks over to the left and he like turns his head and he says, and he just starts pointing all around you. Yeah, I had a feeling that this would happen. Thanks, though. Thank you. <laughs> the boy just kind of, like, laughs and walks away. Sorry, I missed... I was out of the room. What was the question? Where the countryside is. Ah, oh, got it, yeah. Great job, Mrs. Riley. <laughs> you really helped us out there. Great job. You know, indeed. these people aren't really country folk, anyways. I don't know why anyone would go there. Sounds pretty boring. Ask them where the statue is. Uh, uh, I don't know if that would be good asking townsfolk about the statue of the old king. You can try for it, but I don't really want to bother anyone like that. 
I pull up my crystal ball. Perhaps my crystal ball will tell us. Nah, your crystal ball has been pretty shit today. Wait, we haven't... We didn't do our rest, did we? No. Damn it. Perhaps we should sit and rest for a while. I am <laughs> weary. Uh, yeah, we can do yes, that. We are all quite that. tired. Do you guys want to go find camp? Find rest? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I go back to where we've been staying. Sure. Same guy greets you. He offers you the same rates. You guys find a, a place to, to sleep. I hang out with Argo for an hour before I go to sleep. Okay. Argo's fine. He's been unbothered. Uh, I, uh, go taking good care of him. I pull Kang to the side and talk to him for a second, if he's fine with that. What is it, Shadow Man? Listen, Snake. Yes. You already almost killed my brother. Every time your flames go wild, there's a chance we'll all die. You did it about three times today. If you continue to do this, I know you only care about yourself. And I mostly do so myself, but... You know, you gotta be more careful I with that shit. I have never intended to hurt anyone. I, I understand that, but you have to be a little bit more uh, thoughtful of people, you know, that might die around I you. I am so. thoughtful, but... How about this? The if game you... rules are structured such that I do AoE <laughs> damage accidentally if I miss. And there's no way well, to get around that fact. So there is. So it's to be useful you in could... combat, this is the risk that we all take. There are other options. I've consulted with the gods, and they've said you can choose other things, like forget the spell, or, you know, <laughs> or draw welcome attention. Four abilities, but not with mine. On mine, on a miss, I just do AOE damage to those standing nearby. <laughs> All right, God. Snake. Then here's the deal: every time, if you heal, if you if you if you hurt anyone else in the party, next time you do, you will you will not receive heals from me. Or you can be honest about it and do it every once in a while, and that'll be fine, just not every single time. I'm doing the best that I can. <laughs> All right, Snake. Kill my brother, and I will kill you. My class. You should know as much. Please. <laughs> I, just, I just go to sleep. <laughs>